Welcome back to the Gun Dungeon, guys. Got another gel test video here for you. This is some 180 grain Buffalo Boar. I don't know if they got a special name for these. Don't look like it. This is heavy 357 Magnum. 180 grains, pretty heavy. Now these look just like an XTP to me. I am 99.8% certain that is an XTP, but I'm no bullet expert. So just giving you my opinion on that. I did shoot three of these for the little intro there. They're pretty stout. They got some ump to them, but they're not, they're not super terrible, honestly. And you can look, they're, they're definitely pressured up. That primer is pretty flat. Hopefully you can see it. I'm awful at trying to make this thing zoom and focus and all that. So they're definitely on the upper end of the pressure. Just looking at the primers, it was a little bit sticky in the chamber. Just three rounds, of course, but it was all six or seven in that case. Uh, could have been a little bit more sticky, but not bad. And I say seven because we're going to be using this 686 plus seven shot, three inch barrel, 357 Magnum. And we're also going to use this four and five eighths inch barrel to do some ballistics gel testing with. Have a remolded block in the front, old junk, nasty catch block in the rear, four layers of denim, chronograph set up because I want to see if that 1500 feet per second claim is true. Gel block Jerry's gonna ride the block for us. What do you think, buddy? Time to shut up and shoot? That's what I think too. Let's go ahead and start. We'll put two shots with the three inch, then two with the four and five eighths. We'll start with the three inch. Unfortunately, we got an error, but we got another shot coming up, so hopefully we'll capture it. Look at that wound track. A little bit of fragmentation right there, looks like. That's definitely getting it, boys. And we travel all the way down. This old junk block in the rear don't show very much, but you can see the bullet sitting there. It is expanded, and we are right at 25 inches of penetration. So not going to complain of that. That looks like a pretty viable hunting round so far. Let's try another shot, see if we can get that velocity. Twelve eighty one. And take a look at that wound track. Very, very similar to the first shot trucks all the way through. Now this one did come out the side of this old junk block about 22 inches. Let me see if I can show you where it came out at. Uh, actually about 25. It popped out about right here. You can see where it came out the side of the block. But you know we captured one. We got the velocities. We got good looking wound tracks here. I am happy with that. Let's go ahead and move on to our four and five eighths barrel before I get this block too junked up. Y'all be sure to go check out Vetter Holsters, big sponsor of the channel. Have about any kind of holster you can think of. There's one of the cool designs that they have. You saw the blood red holster for my XDM 10 millimeter. They make a holster for just about any gun out there. A lot of the 10 millimeter stuff. I use their light tuck. That's about all I use anymore for inside the waistband stuff. Great products, great company. Check out Vetter Holsters. You all be sure to go check out Target Sports USA. They're a big sponsor of the channel now. And if you use my link below, you're going to get a free gift at checkout with your purchase. Their Ammo Plus membership is a great value. If you shoot very much at all through the year, it's going to pay for itself in no time and then some. Be sure to check out Target Sports USA. Well, it went error on me again. So hopefully we get lucky on the second shot. Uh, let's go this way. Wound track's going to be that lower one with all the blue in it there. Looks pretty good, guys. Looks pretty good. I'm putting these shots too close to each other, I know. I'm gonna do a little better on the next one, I promise. I uh, can't really see it much from this side, but you can see our bullet right here. That one went about an inch further. That one is just over 26 inches into that old junker block. But inch further and about the same wound track, kind of what you'd expect. Let's try one more shot. Oh. 
1344 move my sunshades over to the side that helped me out looks like all right closest wound track to you fellas told you i'd do a little bit better not a whole lot but a little bit look at that wound track these are flat putting it in there that is moving along and look all three of these bullets stacked right on top of each other in there we'll dig them out and take a look here that was another one went about 25 inches man you know not a huge difference between the three inch and the four and five eighths, honestly. Jailbox Jerry wound up way down there. So there you have it, guys. Now, don't know which one these two are. One of these is from the three inch. One is from the four and five eighths. They were stacked on each other. Don't know which one is which. That is definitely from the four and five eighths because that was the deepest one. And it looks like it may not be ex as expanded as wide as the other two. See a little bit more frontal area there on these two as opposed to that one. So don't know what that's about, but that's what we got. Look at all that bullet shank there, guys. That is a bullet from 357 Magnum right there. So there you have it, guys. 180 grain, 357 Magnum, Buffalo Boar. That is a viable hunting round, in my opinion. 25 26 inches of penetration good expansion reliable went through the denim no problems good velocities even from the short barrel seems like a good hunting bullet to me now self-defense mm, maybe if i wanted to shoot four or five in a row something like that seems to be a little excessive on the penetration but hey you do you it's going to be a reliable expander if you want that much penetration go for it if not, go for a little lighter bullet. That would be my suggestion. I like 125 grain somewhere in there for self-defense. But for hunting, that 180 grain is going to drive through bone. It's going to drive through dense, hard tissue. It's going to get the job done in a hunting scenario. So I give this one a thumbs up. That is a 357 Magnum round right there, boys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If you want to go join my Patreon, support the channel, get videos a couple weeks ahead of time, a little bit of behind the scenes content. Sometimes I'll put out polls on what videos y'all want coming up, things of that nature. Just helps the channel out, plus you get some early content and some cool stuff. So anyways, till next time, guys, stay tuned.